Hey guys, it's your boy Grizzlybeard here with my first video, and today we are looking into a very effective way that I love to play Hag. And in my opinion, it's probably one of the strongest ways to play Hag. I call it my whack-a-mole build because of how fast I teleport and hit any survivors that run into my traps. I had honestly a blast making this video and I hope you enjoy it. I do also live stream on Facebook Gaming if you ever want to catch me playing this live. I will have a link in the description below to my channel page. And uh, yeah, let's go. All right, here we go, guys. So in any hag game, right at the beginning, you're gonna wanna immediately start setting up a web of traps. Uh, prime locations just like this. Uh, anywhere that has a safe pallet loop or window vaulting just like this spot. Just this way you can stop the survivor from using that loop as fast as possible. Also the perks I'm running here are enduring in case I get smacked with a pallet and I can recover quickly to teleport in time. Agitation to get survivors on the hook faster, ruin to help slow the game down. And probably the most important perk is save the best for last. At 8 stacks it's really nice to be able to recover after first hit. And right here at the shack is probably one of the most important spots to get a trap uh, as this really helps is going to help a lot in the long run to stop one of the infinites in the map. <laughs> then you got these guys back here, not sure what they were doing. <laughs> okay, well as you can see right here I'm not going to waste too much time uh, chasing them as that's uh, you want to concentrate as much as you can on setting up, especially early game, and that will set you up for success in the late game. So you definitely want to, at all costs, um, not get in a whole lot of uh, chases for hack. Let's see here. This is another great spot right here to put a trap. Oh wow. But what are you guys doing? <laughs> okay. This sets up a perfect opportunity. Bam. As you can see right there, that's what I'm talking about. And a lot of times right here, I'll usually set the trap back down before uh, picking somebody up. Just so the trap is there and it's ready to go. But right here, I just went ahead and got him on the hook anyway. Also, just a heads up, uh, other great perks that you can use with the hack is definitely Corrupt Intervention, Thrilling Tremors, and Make Your Choice. Uh, those are all great for the hack. And also, if you guys would like me to do a video with those perks, also just let me know in the comments. Also, don't I don't waste too much time with breaking pallets. Similar to the Nurse or even... Uh, Huntress, there's just no need to. Uh, one thing that I love about Hack and, and what makes her so strong is you don't have to chase. Just keep your traps set up and keep replacing them. Nine times out of ten, all the work will be done for you instead of having to loop for days. Right here, as you can see, I predicted that spot right there. I knew that uh, somebody would be right there at that time. <laughs> Look at this guy. Right now they're totally panicking. Okay. I was a little slow on that one. Oof. Remember, like I said, the trap in the shack is crucial. And right here, well, here you go. Bam. Can't stress how much how important it is. If you have the opportunity to get a trap in the shack, get it in there. And then as far as uh, right here, that's all you need. Just one trap in the corner, like literally. Uh, I think I do, yeah, I place another one right here. You can do that, but literally, you don't have to do that. You could just put one right at that corner and nine times out of 10, like, almost like every single time they are going to pop that trap in that corner they just least they just don't expect it another great rule for the hag is pretty much for any killer is the three gen rule 
When you are setting up traps, you want to try to have your web keeping track of at least three traps. So that so that way, if there's only one left to go, uh, you will have control still of those three gens. You just want to definitely try your best to keep track of that as well. I know it may sound like a lot, but trust me. And bam, just like that. Pre see, as you can see, Hag is just all about pre-predicting everything. Just predicting where all the survivors are going to go. Uh, pretty much, like I said, you're going to go after those uh, main avenues, those, those high, you know, those places where a lot of foot traffic is going gonna, is gonna to happen. So just like the shack right here, any pallets, you know, any vaulting, windows, anything like that, like right there, bam. See? You see how like every time, every single time I put that trap back down, they run into it again? Because uh, they want to save the guy in the basement. Yeah, and it may look like, uh, oh, he's, he's camping, but, I mean, it's the hack. Why wouldn't you do it? Why wouldn't you do it? <laughs> it just makes sense. And, yes, the rest of this match is pretty much history, as you can see. But, uh, yeah, I'll let you guys uh, go ahead and just <laughs> watch the rest of this. They are panicking so hard right here. This guy. <laughs> He's like... Just running. And at this point, yeah, I mean, obviously the other guys are down, so I'm just gonna go ahead and run after this guy. This is like the exception <laughs> of uh, when I'm going to chase somebody is when I know, like, uh, there's, there's basically two scenarios of when I'm going to actually chase somebody. Number one, uh, this game is pretty much history. I'm in complete control, and as you can see, everyone's down. Or number two, uh, there might be two survivors left that are uh, that are still up. With two two survivors left at least, and maybe two gens left, then I'm gonna go. I will go ahead and chase if I find one. Because at that point, it, yeah, you are pretty much in control of the game easily. Well, as you can see, that is the end of the match there. Complete control. That was a lot of fun, guys. I really enjoyed uh, making this first video. Uh, if you guys liked the video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And uh, let me know in the comments below, uh, you know, what, what kind of uh, content you guys would like to see next time. And um, yeah, uh, just thanks for watching and uh, peace.